Hi everyone, this is Steve Ditford, songwriter and composer for The Wrong Way Round, published by Music Line. And in this very short little video, I'm just going to show you how to get non-continuous playback on a Mac or a PC using a piece of software called VLC. This is really neat and it doesn't cost anything, which is great, isn't it? So typically, if you've bought any Music Line musical, you will probably have bought the vocal tracks and the backing tracks albums from the purchase page here on the Music Line website. There you can see the MP3 backing tracks and the MP3 vocal tracks. These are instant downloads, so once you purchase them, they arrive on your computer. In most rehearsals and performance situations, of course, you really need to be able to get the computer to play the backing tracks one at a time so the playback stops between the tracks. There are several pieces of software out there that can do this. Obviously you've got uh, things like QLab. Uh, they cost a bit of money. This is absolutely free, what I'm about to show you here. This is VLC. It's an open source media player. It does a lot more besides what we wanted to do here for this particular usage. But let me show you the website. Videoland.org takes you to this page and you can see download VLC. I'm running a Mac here so if I click on that that will open up this window and after a few seconds it will begin downloading VLC to my Mac. There it goes. Uh, it's just asking me where I want to put it. It is an Intel package. It will run on Mac Silicon as well. I'm actually running this and it works absolutely fine. It's a standard installation process so I won't run through all that right now. The icon for VLC is a traffic cone for some reason. If you double click on it you get this. Before we bring any media into this, we need to do a little bit of configuration. If we go to VLC Media Player here, go to Settings, go to Show All, and I've actually already configured this, but what you'll probably see is when you go to this option here, play this, it's buried quite deep in the settings, isn't it? But you can see all these boxes here, and if you click on Play and Pause, that will play back a track and then it will pause it at the very last frame of that track and then wait for you to push the space bar as it is on the Mac, probably the same on a PC and then it will play the next track, it will trigger the next track. Let me demonstrate and I'll save that. We're going to go to Finder and in there are my MP3s from the wrong way round and I'm going to drag those straight into VLC Media Player into the playlist it did start playing that automatically. We'll just stop that. Now, we have all the tracks listed there as you would have them if you were in a performance mode. Then we're going to start the playback. We won't play back the whole thing. Now, remember that Music Line backing tracks are designed with some silence at the end to allow you to push the pause button if you need to. You shouldn't have to in this setup. Let's try it. The playback has stopped at the last frame of that track. Now all I have to do to start track two is push the space bar. In a universe <laughs> much like our own, the serene town of Enneville is about to be rocked. I wonder who that is with that American accent. So you get the idea. I hope that helps. And if you find any better ways of doing it, then do let me know. But remember, this one is free. It's VLC. We'll do a link to it from the Music Line website. Thank you very much for watching.